1 into d raised to n. What is fd? fd is this. a1 d raised to n minus 1. In this way, a2 a raised to d raised to n minus 2. a n minus 1 d plus a n. We know that this is or fd is what? a0 d raised to n. a1 d raised to n minus 1 plus so on a n minus 1 d plus a n. This is given in the theorem or does not given in the theorem. We write this every then the proof of first we have that is we have to prove this 1 by f d e raised to x is what 1 by f of a e raised to x. So we have first equation e raised to x is equal to e raised to x then derivative of e raised to x d of e raised to x is what e raised to x derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into a right here is first then d square of e raised to x is what a is constant and the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into a so a into a becomes a square so in this way the n minus one order derivative of e raised to x is what a raised to n minus 1 e raised to x because second order is what d a square so n minus n minus 1 order derivative is a raised to n minus 1 e raised to x and the nth order derivative is what d raised to n e raised to x is a raised to n e raised to x multiplying the above equations by an a n minus 1, a n minus 2, a n minus 3, a 1, 1. Multiplying the above equation by a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2. In this way, multiply second last by a 1 and multiply the last equation by 1 and adding we get so to first equation this equation multiply by a n then to second equation multiply by a n minus 1 the third one is a n minus 2 in this way multiply the last equation by 1 and the second last by a 1 so I'm adding all these equations respective sides of these equations we'll add these equation by reverse way that is from bottom to top so the lhs becomes what d raised to n e raised to x lhs of this equation multiply this equation by one then next that is last one last second last is what multiply by a1 so a1 d raised to n minus 1 e raised to x multiply to this equation last equation by 1 then a1 in this way multiply to the second equation by a n minus 1 plus so on a n minus 1 this d e raised to x if you have to write this term this e equation then multiply by a n minus 2 a n minus 1 and the first one multiply by a n e raised to x the first one is what e raised to x lhs is e raised to x so multiply to that equation by a n so multiply to this equation by what 1 multiply to this equation by a 1 multiply to this equation by a n minus 2 multiply to this equation by a n minus 1 and multiply to this equation by a n and adding respective side that is first addition this is the addition of lhs of above then is equal to the addition of rhs so this term a raised to n e raised to x this term a raised to multiply to multiply by 1 then this term multiply by a1 so what do we have a1 a raised to n minus 1 this term e raised to x n minus 1 e raised to x plus so on 
this this equation multiply by a n minus 1 so a n minus 1 a e raised to x plus a n e raised to x we have this is equal to next step we have in bracket take this e raised to x common to right side don't take this e raised to x to left side because d raised to n e raised to x means derivative of this e raised to x so this e raised to x is function of x so it is not shiftable to left side this take this e raised to x common to right side so a1 d raised to n minus 1 plus so on a n minus 1 d this term plus a n e raised to x is equal to again take this e raised to x common in rhs also what do we have in bracket a raised to n plus a1 a raised to n minus 1 this term plus so on a n minus 1 a plus a n and this bracket is what this bracket is fd what is fd fd is this d raised to n plus a1 d raised to n minus 1 if uh, instead of the 1 if you take a naught then this set statement write this statement as multiplying the above equations by what a n n minus 1 n minus 2 a1 and the last one is what a naught if we have here a naught then multiply the last equation by a naught not then we have this bracket is what every e raised to x this then if this is f of a e raised to x what is f of a this bracket is f of a so we can obtain f of a replace d by a what do we have if you replace d by a in every then we have a raised to n a1 a raised to n minus 1 a n minus 1 a a so this is f of a and this implies this implies 1 by fd e raised to ax is equal to 1 by f of a e raised to x. But when if f of a is not equal to 0. So if we shift this fd and f of a then we have this step. But actually it is not shift. Uh, we can cannot shift this fd and f of a so justification for this step justification for this step apply fd on both sides of this equation. what we have fd 1 by fd e raised to x fd is equal to fd 1 by f of a e raised to x apply fd on both sides then next step what do we have this fd and 1 by fd cancel each other so we have e raised to x is equal to this fd means derivative this fd means derivative term and 1 by f of a is constant so shift this 1 by f of a to the left side of fd e raised to x then is equal to 1 by f of a and by using this step we have this step suppose this is star what is that 1 fd fd e raised to x is what f of a e raised to x suppose this is star then fd e raised to x is what f of a e raised to x by using this step star fd e raised to x is f of a e raised to x so by star then is equal to f of a and 1 by f of a we have e raised to x so we have e raised to x is equal to e raised to x and therefore this step is what 
from star we have this this step is correct so what is 1 by f d e raised to x 1 by f of a e raised to x e but when e p f of a is not equal to 0 if f of a is 0 then 1 by f of a is meaningless quantity like this 1 by f of a is equal to meaningless so this is about the proof of the first then proof of second that is what we have to show to prove in second part we have to prove 1 by this second one 1 by d minus a raised to r phi of d e raised to x is what x raised to r r factorial phi of a e raised to x to prove 1 by d minus a raised to r phi d e raised to x is equal to x raised to r by r factorial phi of a e raised to x but when if phi of a is not equal to 0 given is what phi of a is not equal to 0 so proof is by mathematical induction on r the proof is by mathematical induction so step first of mathematical induction will prove the result for r is equal to either 1 or 2 or 3 so we will prove the result for r is equal to 1 that is to prove 1 by d minus a phi d e raised to ax is equal to x raised to 1 by 1 factorial that is 1 phi of a e raised to x this is obtained by substituting r is equal to 1 so we have to show this 1 by d minus a phi d e raised to x is equal to x by phi a e raised to x this is our step 1 of mathematical induction so consider LHS consider this LHS one by d minus a phi d e raised to x is equal to one by we have to consider we consider this lhs and show this rhs so we separate these factors one by d minus a one by phi d e raised to x right here bracket then apply the rule first rule that is what the rule 1 by fd e raised to x is what 1 by f of a e raised to x but when if f of a is not equal to 0 so here instead of f here the notation is phi and so 1 by phi d e raised to x is what 1 by phi a e raised to x why as given is phi of a is not equal to 0 so by using this rule we have 1 by phi d e raised to x is what 1 by phi a e raised to x next step this 1 by phi a is constant quantity and 1 by d minus a means actually the integration d means derivative 1 by d means integration so 1 by d minus a e raised to x is equal to 1 by phi a and we apply the rule 1 by d minus a qx the rule of first method first type is what e raised to ax integration e raised to minus ax qx dx so what is what we have this is qx so we have e raised to ax integration e raised to minus ax qx is e raised to x dx we have by using this rule then 1 by phi a e raised to x this is e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 the next step is what 1 by phi a e raised to x integration of 1 is x that what we have we have x this x divided by phi a e raised to x that is we have this 
x by phi a e raised to x and that is what we say that result or theorem is result or theorem is true for r is equal to 1 here the first step of mathematical direction is completed then second step second step of mathematical induction step 2 assume that the result is true for r is equal to m that is 1 by d minus a raised to m by d e raised to x is equal to x raised to m m factorial phi of a e raised to ax this is denoted by star where where this phi a is not equal to 0 this phi is not equal to 0 that is in second step we assume this result is true for r is equal to m that is only replace r by m so what we have 1 by d minus a raised to m phi d e raised to x is x raised to m m factorial phi of a e raised to x that is replace d by m and this is called mathematical this is called induction hypothesis this star equation is called induction hypothesis then uh, to prove in second step prove the result or the theorem is true for r is equal to m plus 1 that is what we have to show replace here this r in this result r by m plus 1 what do we have 1 by d minus a m plus 1 e raised to ax x raised to m plus 1 m plus 1 factorial phi a e raised to x that is what we have to show rest to m plus 1 phi d e raised to x is equal to x raised to m plus 1 by m plus 1 factorial phi a e raised to x this is what have to show so consider lhs of this d minus a raised to m plus 1 phi d e raised to x consider lhs and show rhs so we have this is equal to d minus a d minus a raised to m phi d e raised to x the factorization of this d minus a raised to m plus 1 is what d minus a raised to 1 d minus a raised to m that is if the base is same addition of power so then we have is equal to 1 by d minus a right this 1 by d minus a phi d d minus a raised to m phi d e raised to x and what is the value of this factor by using induction hypothesis that is by using star this is x raised to m value of this factor is what x raised to m by using star this equation star x raised to m by m factorial phi a e raised to x value of this by using star by using induction hypothesis then is equal to